have the second module on lands. All right. And so we will talk about in a little bit more detail about A, B, G, N, A, C, and so on and so forth. So we will talk about different amendments as we call them. And now we will talk about PDUs, which is the standard terms for packets. We'll talk about enhanced DCF. So we talk about DCF, distributed coordination function, the previous module. We'll talk about enhanced one here. Direct link, we mentioned before, frame bursting, and a few other things, OK? So first of all, amendments. So 802.11 was done in 1997. So in 18 years, we have eight, you know hundreds of amendments, lots of amendments, OK? A was done in 1999, as I said, and all it did was change the band to 5 gigahertz and used OFDM. B was done in 99, same time, but it only stayed in 2.5, so everybody loved it. B. Then C was done for bridge operation. D was the global harmonization, basically files for other countries. So you will notice that some countries don't have the spectrum for the thing that you need, and so they have to special cases are there. Quality of service was introduced in E. Inter access point protocol was done in F but withdrawn. And you notice that F was a capital letter. Everybody knows what that means. Right? Then G came in 2003 with OFDM in, in 2.4 gigahertz because OFDM is good, but 5 gigahertz band, no good. So people came back to this G. H was um, something dynamic frequency selection for Europe. Now, the more, so the thing is, I'm not going to talk about all of these. What I want to do is, I will talk about the underlined ones. These are the most important ones. But just, you know, just for the sake of some of the important ones, like for example, I, you know, if you really work for a company which does Wi-Fi, you will have to read that one because that is security, enhanced security. J is for Japan, K is something else, maintenance, and so on and so forth. So now what is the P? P is the inter-vehicle and vehicle roadside communications. So this is what is coming. They call it VANET, vehicle area networking. All the cars will have antennas, Wi-Fi, talking to other cars. Right? So that standard is P. And we will talk, we have a whole module on that, separate module. Then R is fast roaming. Roaming means going from one place to another place to one another place. You know, in the cell phone you do roaming. Same thing you can do in Wi-Fi. And S is extended service set mesh network. So how your packet can go from here to there to there by stations, that is mesh network. So we'll talk about that. And T is the performance matrix, capital T. Now let's see. Um, wireless network management, protected management frames, direct data link setup. So this is the direct data link. Remember, we talked about that previously you had to go through the access point. Now you don't have to. So that two half became one half. Um, includes. Now then what happened was this is 2011. And at that point, they issued a new version of 802.11. And so that includes all of these other ones, previous ones. So if you go and look for, let's say, U 2011, it is not there anymore. OK? You want to look at for that information that is right here in this standard, 2012. All right. This little P, if you want to look for P, it is not there anymore. Right. So what is there right now is capital letters. So capital letters here on this slide, there is none, but there is one here T. So that you can find. OK. But everything else up to 2011 is in this one. Then we start with AA, video transport stream, and AC is very high throughput at less than 6 gigahertz, and AD is at 60 gigahertz. So we will actually have detailed discussion of these ones, AC, AD. Prioritization of management frames. AF is white spaces. We have a whole module on white spaces. AH is for IoT. And I don't have a lecture yet, but I will prepare, hopefully a new lecture on AH, OK? Then AI, 
विच विल एक्सपेक्टेड इन सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एक्सपेक्टेड अगस्त तो नाउ दीज आर ऑल फ्यूचर वन सेप्टेम्बर एजे एक्सपेक्टेड इन जून प्री एसोसिएशन डिस्कवरी एलिमेंट फॉर दिस वन एंड राइट नाउ दर स्टार्टिंग वर्क ऑन हाई एफिशियंसी एंड नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सिक्सटी के घर सो सिक्सटी के घर वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट इज ऑलरेडी हियर बट देन दे आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग ऑन हायर स्पीड सिक्सटी के घर सो दैट इज ए वाई वी विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट इट हियर बट यू हैव टू नो द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इट सिमिलरली नेक्स्ट जनरेशन पोजिशनिंग यू नो हाउ डू फाइंड इट पोजिशन इन इन ए रूम या so they actually this is what happens everybody is tries to go ahead so some of these things appear as some companies special feature okay and then everybody likes it and then they take it to the standard that is one way not always so so for example high next generation 60 gigahertz some company might have made you know a 1 gigabit network and they will start selling it in the market and people will start buying it and then you know people say oh why don't we make it a standard like that right so that is one method second is that when the standard comes out even though the date says the date says 2012 for ac 2013 for ac right 2011 the standard is almost there okay it is just being you know fine tuned words here and there right it is going through the reviews and it is going through some approvals Co- companies start making products and so they call it draft so you might buy a product which says n draft what means is this is not a final n standard but the current draft right so the things the product are appearing before the standard is done and once it is done then of course they will follow the final thing but there is very little change between for the last one or year one year or so so something which are saying you know 2014 15 let's see um ah expected august 2016 it's already there okay so that's the story and are there patents on all of those okay the question is are there patents on all of those yes there are patents on all of those and before anything is presented to idripli they ask you to sign a patent disclosure which simply says that you will disclose that you have patent on it and that you will charge reasonable amount they don't tell you how much is reasonable and so the companies disclose their patents and then people who want to implement it they have to pay for it yeah no actually you are not supposed to know all of these but as we discuss some of these particularly i would say that remember the underlined ones please because those are the key if you went out and said i no i have wireless cores and then you say what is 11 ah oh i that i don't remember i don't know what it is and so that would be really not very good you know if you didn't know ac for example now i mean ac is you know everything that you buy on wifi today is ac and so you have to know what is ac right and i you know for security and e for qs these are some you know things you will hear so often that you, they just become ingrained in your brain but if somebody asks me what is j i don't remember because i mean you know and just now i read j is for japan but i don't do it every day so i wouldn't remember yeah capital p actually p means um uh, p means um, this is a project um but um I actually removed P from most places. All of these had P before. Maybe day before yesterday they had a P. I removed P from all of these, and I forgot to remove from here. Okay, so P is actually to be technically it means proposed standard, P, proposed standard. But if something is already a standard, now what does it proposed means? For example, P eight hundred two point eleven AF two thousand thirteen. so i don't know when they remove the p okay so i have removed the p everywhere but i think there are two ways this could be removed one is that um, when it becomes part of the 802.11 at that time 11 would not be a p right 11 af would be gone right it's an amendment but then what happens is this also goes to iso okay 
and the real standards come from ISO, International Standards Organization. So everything that is done in IEEE goes to ISO, everything that is done in ANSI or any other standards bodies goes to ISO, then it becomes a real standard. So maybe that P stays for a whole life in IEEE, I don't know. So P is for proposed standard. So I, to just to avoid confusion, I have removed P from everywhere, but forgot to put it removed from these two.